Hey what's going on guys, it's Mojo's Tutorial again and today I'm going to be creating a tutorial on how to create some awesome text and you're probably wondering why text well text is good and I really don't know why that area is there but anyways we're going to open up the folder Lightroom now this is the Lightroom I'm going to be using and I'll post a download link in the description so first off what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename these I'll create it to YouTube. Then I need to change the font. Wait for it. And let's change it to Transformers. Zoom out a bit. Um, Alright, now as you can see, some of the lines are going inside the other ones, so we can just turn the space in upwards, sorry. Yeah, that's about right. Now what you want to do is, you want to delete this chrome that's on it, and you want to add a white, and you want to copy this, and paste it. Then go to cops and put a fillet on and a fillet and just put it on. Wait. Yeah, cops, sorry. And just put them on two centimeters. Then what you want to do is you want to put a black on this one or any color that's preferable for you. And as you can see, that brings a black outline. And yeah that looks really good now we'll zoom out so it fits the screen properly oh my god and we'll yeah we'll leave it like that now what you want to do is you want to press shift on more text 6 and then on more text 1 so that highlights it all then you want to go to more graph effects group and then you want to click shift again on all of them and drag them into the group. Make, once again, make sure it is pointing downwards, not to the left. And that will grab them in the group. Now, click on more text 6, or whatever yours is named, but it's the frame that's got the black on. And then go to more graph, effects, and random. And as you can see, that makes the text go all weird. So, move it into the group. And then go to the form and put the, the format on point and this will make everything go weird yep alright for the weight we want to have it at about 16 possibly no I'd say about hmm. wait yeah Put it on about 12. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to change the seed to 1. And that makes it look really good. What we could do, if you don't like the look of that, you could always just turn this, turn up the weight. Or you could turn it down, your decision. Yeah, I like the look of it. Then what you want to do is you want to go to plugins and then Thassari. Then click on that and you want 20 pieces. That's a 2 and a 0 and just click break now. Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh, shit. Alright, what you need to do is you need to click the text and go to break. I mean... That's alright. And put it on 20 pieces. And that will start breaking it. Now for this recording, I'll just pause it until this is finished. Hey guys, it's done. And what you want to do after it is done, you want to drag and drop these back into the group. So just drag and drop. Once again, make sure the arrow is pointing downwards. Now what you want to do now is click on the random and move it all the way up to the top. Not on objects. Up, up, up. 
and click on groups. Now that random should not be there. Alright, so now you have that. Just wait for it to load. Oh, oh. There we go. Now we'll have that. So what you want to do now is you want to render it out. And the render settings for this will be as so. Uh, but you want to change the name of it. I will have the Lightroom and the downloads in the description of this video. So everything will be set up to this. So it's it will be good. Let's just see if this has YouTube on the desktop. Now there's the settings and I'm just going to pause the recording while I render it and I'll show you the output once it's done and what we can do from there alright guys this is the final rendered piece and as you can see it looks great but it would have been better if I moved the image further upwards anyways what you want to do now is you want to open up Photoshop I took the liberty to do this while it while it just rendered and I was waiting on pause the video. Now, I have this and what you want to do is you want to right click and go to blending options. Now, you want to have um, you want to have a stroke on but you want it on 4 4 there we go, 4 and you want the opacity at about 50. Now you want a gradient overlay and you want to put the overlay on overlay. And what you can do is you can download some overlays or you can look for overlays. Personally I like these overlays because they look the best. Especially that one that looks good. Or not that one, that looks terrible. But just look for an overlay that looks nice to you. There we go, I like that one. And we'll use that. And what you want now is you want an <coughs> outer shadow, wherever that is. A uh, drop shadow, sorry. And you want to turn the opacity up on it. And the distance, I mean the angle, sorry. At about want 90 degrees, sorry. 90 degrees. And that's pretty much it and if you want to see what this would look like in the background I could go file open go to edit in my file does nope wrong folder wrong folder there we go partner background Alright, so wait for this to open and then we'll import it. Yeah, 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 no, I don't have the font. Be quiet. Alright, Control V. Alright, there's that now. Edit. Trans free transform. And there's that. And as you can see, it looks great. So that's pretty much this tutorial, guys. Um, I hope you had fun watching, and I hope you tried it for yourselves. And if you enjoyed it, please give the video a like, and subscribe if you want more tutorials. Uh, bye.